Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a laser hair removal treatment update video. So answering some frequently asked questions and also just giving you guys an update on where I'm at with my treatments and how everything's going. So if you guys have been wanting to know more about my laser hair removal treatments, then keep watching. I do want to disclose that I am working with the cosmetic clinic. I've mentioned this in the previous video that I filmed. I do get my treatments gifted, so that means that I they're gifted to me and it's more so in exchange for obviously sharing my experiences and promoting the services and the treatments, but that kind of goes hand in hand with all collaborations. Um, there's like an exchange for services or product or marketing and and promotion, essentially advertising. I have openly disclaimed that, that's why you will see ad on my Instagram posts or you'll also see TCC partner, so the cosmetic clinic partner. I've previously been paying for laser hair removal sessions anyway so it's kind of something that I would be doing regardless of whether I was working with company or not because it's just my preferred method of hair removal slash hair removal or hair reduction. The main things that I get asked about my laser hair removal journey. Wait hold on I had a question too. One question which I answered in the video is what laser do they use in me? Um, I believe it's called Candela Yag, which is specifically meant for women of pigmented, pigmented skin. They use a laser on you and then they also, I guess it blows cold air, cools the area, but it also kind of gives you something else to focus on when you're getting laser done. Someone asked, which branch do I go to? So I go to the cosmetic clinic inside Westfield Newmarket and that's in Auckland. How many treatments have I had done? So I didn't have a set amount of treatments pre-booked. It wasn't like I went in for X amount of sessions. I'm currently on my, I believe it's my 17th session. Now that 17 spread across quite a significant amount of time and previously I was attending, I was going to the cosmetic clinic at a different branch and I also also had maybe like I think it was seven months gap maybe that's I can't remember the exact amount but there was like a significant gap when you go that long without a treatment if you haven't had consecutive ones to treat the hair follicle then for me it kind of I feel like put my progress back a bit so I kind of had to catch up and also throughout like the three I think lockdowns that we've had so far it also pushed back those treatments and obviously being in level three or level four malls and clinics had closed so it's not like I had 17 in a row because if someone hears that they're like oh my goodness you've had so many treatments um and you're still getting laser done so that's kind of the explanation behind that I'd also like to add that for me because my hair jeans are so strong like the Indian jeans very strong I've kind of accepted the fact that for me laser hair removal is is more of a way of it's like my preferred method of hair removal because it treats the hair at the follicle but oh I hope I'm saying that right and I'm not mixing up my terms I'm not professional just mentioning what I've learned so because it treats the hair at the follicle I believe that it's it reduces it massively compared to say something like waxing, threading, depilatory creams which all of those haven't really worked out well for me because there's just been pros and cons to each of course because shaving it's like for me I'd shave my legs and then later that evening if I was out and it was, it was a cold breeze my hairs would just like prick back so I was like this is irrelevant because it's not really it's not really like a clean shave so it didn't really feel like it was lasting that long plus also I became pretty prickly and painful and in groans and same with waxing. Anyways, so it's my preferred method of hair removal. However, there's areas that have responded better to the laser than others. Example, like my arms, my legs, my underarms responded really well. Whereas a place like my face, because it's quite hormonal, like it's hormonal growth, so I get hair growing in patches like here and along my chin jaw area and also my upper lip, but they're really like fine hairs. However, there's some other places on my face, like my sideburns, like I don't have to get this area treated at all now because they've responded so well that they just don't grow. I might have like little hairs here, but we can see that's about it. So as far as I know, I've had about 17 sessions and I've also done a couple of double treatments on my face where I would have done like 
a laser session two weeks apart just to treat that hair on the face and try to further reduce it more because they're still getting growth. I believe that's really helped a lot and yeah so some places it responds really well for me others which is hormonal growth which I don't really expect it to ever really go away so I might end up just doing laser long term meaning maintenance sessions on like the face as I need but yeah it's just really helped with my hair growth and also maintaining it and the places that i mentioned my arms and my legs i'm not having to shave these areas like they're just like little tiny hairs and you can barely even see them but they're just smooth whereas before it was like a lot like more hair would grow back and now it's just like little patches or it's very like thin fine hair but my arm has some patches of thicker hair to be fair because otherwise if it was all thin then we wouldn't do it but yeah underarms and all that thin fine hair i get asked a lot about the pain with the laser so pain is subjective and different people feel it in different ways so i can't really sit here and be like hey it feels like this for me or it's going to feel like that for you because you can't really know that i will say that i personally do feel it but the majority of it like i'm okay with some areas it's a bit more sensitive like my face or some parts of my legs are quite sensitive so it all really depends on the individual and how you handle I guess pain and sensitivity I will say that pop in for a consultation and do like a little test patch just so you get an idea of how it feels and with the cosmetic clinic when I first started doing treatments with them they start you on a low level setting and I believe that's the protocol to do so it's kind of the first session was just really easy slash easy to get used to because it was on a very low level yeah definitely would recommend booking for a consultation consultation they're free and then you can now also get an idea of what you're in for by getting a test patch done and you can also find out if your hair is okay to treat with the laser machine or like if your skin type and your hair is okay to be treated because those also vary like you can't get laser done if you have very light hair so yeah that's why I pigmented <laughs> with dark hair I believe is an ideal candidate or like just dark hair in general especially if you've got coarse hair like my armpits I was like yes zap him Oh my gosh, okay, now you can kind of see them. I didn't even shave them. So I had my, my last session was three days ago. So I, don't, I wasn't really planning to show you guys my armpits, but here they are. <laughs> yeah, so that's my little armpits. I mean, to be fair, they look a little bit dark at the moment. I can't say this for everyone, but I feel like it's um, improved the darkness of my armpits considerably. Like this probably isn't the fluttering angle to my armpits. And there's little, little tiny hairs, but it looks a lot better than it did before when I always used to shave it. It just used to get dark and the hairs would start growing back straight after I shaved it, but you couldn't shave it again because they were kind of just like, just peeping up. Anyways, um, long story short, I personally could not speak more highly of laser hair removal, but of course you have to go to someone who's trained and who knows how to use the machines and is actually knows the ins and outs of it and has been obviously trained to do this because you don't want to go please do not go get a deal for laser hair removal treatments and then just go to anyone just because it's cheap it's not worth it trust me i've been there years ago when i was younger would not recommend and you can end up getting burns so my last takeaway of this video is do your research go to someone who knows what they're doing knows is qualified is trained knows um and has done a variety of different clients as well so do your research on that too and yeah if you're in New Zealand or in Australia the cosmetic clinic has locations all over in Auckland I mentioned I go to Westfield Newmarket cosmetic clinic I pretty much just book in with whoever's there like I've booked in with various different laser technicians there and they're all lovely all have great chats and the time just flies by they make you feel really comfortable like in my last treatment she put two blankets on me just to make sure that I was warm because those rooms I have to keep those rooms quite cool anyways so could not speak highly enough and regardless of whether I was working with the company or not I would still get laser hair removal done because it's just 
like I said, my preferred method of laser hair removal. So yeah, ending the video with that. And also every video that you watch to do with laser hair removal, take it all, take the advice as like with a grain of salt because everyone's results vary. Everyone's DNA is different, genetics is different. One person could see a reduction in like a couple of sessions, another person might need more. It all varies. So take it all with a grain of salt. Book in a consultation if you're interested. And yeah, make sure you go to someone trained. Would highly recommend the cosmetic clip though. That's about it. If you guys have any questions that I haven't mentioned in this video, then leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to reply to them all. If you've had laser hair removal done, then leave your experience down in the comments because I'd love to know that as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Blah blah blah. Hi everyone. Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome back. Oh, that's too loud. Mm, that's not it. What is it? My phone gonna die. Each I hope not.